Hi y'all. How you doing? Angie here, coming at you from Lake Livingston with a little bit of video randomness. Um, recently and in the past, I have been accused of being fake because my general default position is happy, positive, silly, you know, try, you know, y'all, y'all be nice, y'all get along, let's all be friends. Um, that's just me. I, I am generally, I try to stay in that place because it makes me feel better. It's not necessarily something I do for you folks. I do that for my own sanity. I try to remain in my happy place as much as possible. Now, that being said, there are some things that will send me over the edge. Some of them seem to be innocuous, silly little things that most people wouldn't get too upset about. However, everybody's got a dark side. I don't like to let that dark side out because she's pretty nasty. She can be pretty hateful. She can cuss like a sailor. <laughs> Apologies to sailors. Um, let's start with number one. And this may feel like out of priority, but it is the one thing that will immediately send me from mellow, calm, happy, singing a song to shooting the bird, cussing you out, and screaming at the top of my lungs. And that's bad drivers. Yes, Diva suffers from road rage. I do. I have a problem with separating people from the vehicle in front of me and I know that car did not just do that by itself you did that <laughs> you cut me off you don't know how to stay out of the left lane unless you're passing someone in front of you you don't know that there's nobody behind me for a mile and a half but you just pulled out in front of me Ed slowed down so yeah, that'll get you a bird, that'll get you a honk, and that gets the kids in the back seat a real education about how not to tick Granny off. <laughs> number two, and this may have been, probably should have been number one, but I think they're actually pretty equal in, in my level of stuff that will send me over the edge. Number two, people who hurt children. As human beings, our goal, our ex very existence is to propagate our species. I firmly believe that there is no higher purpose to a human but to help continue that the human race continues to exist. Now don't get me wrong, I am not dogging on anybody who does not want kids. I totally get that. I completely understand not wanting children. I do. This has nothing to do with that. This has to do with people who hurt children. Every time I hear someone say, well, I was spanked growing up and I turned out just fine. I think, did you? Because if you did, you probably wouldn't have just said what you just said. Because that generally means that's something that sticks out in your psyche. You know, just don't hit your kids. Don't hit kids. Don't. Here is this tiny little person who has put their ultimate trust in you to protect them from harm, to keep them safe, to keep them warm, to keep them, you know, okay, to make sure their world is okay. The one person, their mom, their dad, their granny, whoever, whoever that person is that they've entrusted themselves to, mostly because they don't have any choice, but because that's what kids do. They trust first, you know, they trust first. That one person reacts in anger and in violence and immediately breaks that trust, immediately, the first time. If it happens again, then that trust is further broken until it's completely shattered and they won't trust you. And when they get to be teenagers and when they get to be older and they want to 
you know, they want to go sleep with their boyfriend or girlfriend over here or whatever, they're not going to come to you for that. They're not. They don't trust you anymore because you hurt them. You hurt them. Don't hurt them. Um, if you're some kind of creep that gets their rocks off on hurting little kids, um, you just need to die. I'm sorry. I generally don't wish death on anybody, but if you're a perv, if you're a pedo, kill yourself. Sorry. Just, I don't believe there's any hope for you because that is a severe problem. I can't get my head around. Um, that said, this will probably get pulled because, you know, YouTube. But that's uh, number two. Don't hurt the children. They're put in our care. They're our next generation. They're going to learn from you. Don't teach them to hate. Don't teach them violence. And don't teach them to be bullies. I can't tell you how much the bullying on social media drives me crazy. One person will retweet an offensive tweet or screenshot it or something like that. And that's just so that everybody in their little gang can come on and jump on that person and pound them into the ground and give it the bully treatment. So y'all just need to quit that. I, I, I just think that's childish. And that doesn't have anything to do with number two, except for it just sort of spilled over into that. That just Y'all quit doing that for real. Quit doing that. Number three being interrupted it happens every day multiple times when speaking to people I wish people would learn the art of conversation it's like playing a game of catch with a ball or a frisbee or a balloon or whatever I speak I got the ball I toss the ball to you it's your turn you toss the ball back to me and I speak again. It's not, oh, she said something that makes me want to tell you what I think, so I'm going to jump in right now before I forget what I want to say. It's called listening. It's called listen to what the other person says and respond to that. If you're sitting there thinking about what you're going to say next, instead of what I just said to you, we're not having a conversation. Don't talk over me. Yeah. Somebody said, how come you don't talk when you're on camera, when you're on the stream? Well, because everybody's talking over each other. You can, I can't understand half of what gets said in those things because everybody's talking at the same time. We got to find a new level of respect if we're going to communicate this way, folks. Now, thank you for listening. Number five. This is a particular person that irritates me and irritates me to the point that I have blocked, filtered, and tried to mute in any way even references to said person. I don't care for the name. I have been unsuccessful in blotting this person out of my sight only because of their <clears throat> notoriety. Uh, I am speaking of the current President of the United States, um, Lord Feltersnatch. I don't hate you if you voted for him. I don't, because I know a lot of people had a lot of different reasons for voting for him. And some of them I actually understood. I voted for Ross Perot many years ago. So so I kind of get some of it. The parts I don't understand is the common human decency that he's apparently unable to exhibit is appalling to me. I can't figure out how anyone can look at that person as a human being and say, that's someone I would be proud to to know or someone I would be proud to be associated with or proud to have as the leader of my country. I don't understand it. I, I don't. I don't. And 
as far as I'm concerned, he's a predator. He's a pig. And he's a very poor excuse for not only an American, but for a human being. And that's really all I can say about that. Um, if you're if your channel or your Twitter is dedicated to harassing or talking about or even regularly mentioning this person, I'm probably not going to watch or see what you're doing because I have done my very best with the technology available at hand to remove that name and that image from my life. Um, please, please vote. Please get out and vote. If you've never voted before, go get registered right now. It's the only chance we have to remove this cancer from our country. And uh, anybody who thinks their vote doesn't count, you're just wrong. It's absolutely wrong. No one voting the opposite is going to cancel out your vote. If you look at the way our voting system works, you will understand that it all goes into a big tally. And then the Electoral College kicks in. We need your votes. Get registered. Do it now and you're done. Unless you move, you know, make it a point. This is your right. This is your only voice. This is your duty as an American citizen. And I'm not telling you how to vote, although I'm really hoping for things on the little more blue side, but at the same time, I'm not, just vote. If you don't vote, if you want to talk to me about something like that, you can just step off with that because you had your chance to make your opinion known. When election day comes around, you get to voice your opinion. After that, you're welcome to share it. If you don't vote, shut the hell up. You don't get to gripe about it. You don't get to have an opinion. And that's just mine. Y'all have a good day.